Hello everybody to the edit on review of League 1 jerseys. There were quite a few teams. I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six teams that I had no chance to cover uh, two weeks ago when I did the first preview. And yeah, now we're gonna look at them. I decided to split them in two parts because it was really geographically very nicely. We have a few northern teams and there are a couple of southern teams where it's really nice to split right along and we'll start now with the northern teams uh, and as you can see most of my uh, scarves here are from actually northern teams so it's also uh, fits now for this video I won't change it um, as for these backgrounds here I want to say that my older daughter really helped me in putting this together she picked how this should be arranged I'm very happy we had a good time creating this together. But let's get right away to the jerseys and we'll start with Amiens. Um, if you've never been uh, to Amiens, I highly re recommend. It's a great city, especially the cathedral is simply spectacular. Um, and if you're there in summer and they still do it, if you're from the, uh, the region, they display actually how this was painted. It's very colorful, otherwise it's a white facade. but uh, definitely a must see in France. Uh, the team itself is now again in the uh, in Ligue 1 and they play in white Puma shirts which is now new uh, with Intersport as a sponsor and they have a very interesting template. Um, if you look at the crest it has this uh, white and slight gray uh, division and this is a little bit mirrored in the design for the shirt which is base white but the upper part of the chest and even the sleeves i have a very light gray tone which gives uh, just a little bit an interesting thing to look at whereas the form stripes for uh, for puma are white and as is the v-neck color but overall i think i like it it's a little bit too much with the sponsors especially since the crest is centered and you have the two sponsors on the proper right and the puma logo no, the, the two spawn on the proper left and the Puma cat on the uh, right. And it just mm, doesn't look super, super, super nice. But yeah, uh, if it was without those sponsors on the top, I think this would look actually quite interesting. Maybe it's just, it's not boring because of the gray and then you have the uh, black stripes. So for that reason, I'm actually inclined to give this a seven star. Now, uh, the away jersey, there is no official picture yet. I went even to the uh, webpage of Amiens today uh, to see whether the store, they're selling in the store and I can get the picture there, but no. But I found footage of the league game uh, that they lost in Lyon, uh, I think this past weekend. And there they play in the uh, away jersey, which is black. And it's this black Puma jersey, which uses the same template. But instead of having white and light gray, they will use black and a stark gray, which is also an interesting look, especially uh, here, uh, full play. Uh, and I also like that the um, Intersport logo is not full color and also all the other sponsor logos. It's still a little bit too busy for my liking on the top, but overall this is a really nice design and I also would give this a seven. So uh, while the color palette of Amiya is not too exciting, this is still a really uh, nice looking shirt and I over like this, especially since it has this special touch with the upper half being a little bit off color going into the gray. Now, uh, the next team that we look at is Kao, where I already showed you the home jersey um, in previous videos. I just want to give you here a better look uh, of this home jersey as far as I remember. Let's look at here. Yeah, Gates is an eight star. I still like this a lot. The crest is just a uh, killer for me. The design reminds me of a Paris Saint-Germain jersey, I think from the 94 season when they became champions. And of course, Barcelona is something similar. But we're here to talk about the away jersey, which frankly is a little bit boring. I was expecting more stripes, but uh, on the other side, it gives also more contrast. It is white. I like how the V-neck color by, and the jersey of course produced by Umbro, has the club colors. Uh, he has the red stripe with uh, some 
uh, navy blue trim and then the color is trimmed in white so I like that one a lot I also like that there's a slight diamond pattern that uh, repeats the Normand warrior here so uh, looks actually quite nice uh, there are elements in there that, um, that are nice but overall uh, I think it could be a little bit more um, so therefore I think I'm only give this uh, six stars just because the home jersey is so striking that I wish that there was a little bit like more like that on the away jersey but I understand why it is just the white jersey and the next one is Kao is not a cathedral town, but Amiens was, and the next team, of course, Stade Rhin. Stade de Rhin is also a cathedral town, uh, one of the most famous ones. And Stade de Rhin is also a team that has a little bit fall off the radar. They were in the first European club final, and they made the European club final twice, uh, both times losing to Real Madrid in the 50s. And to me, it's always amazing how in France, uh, teams that have been traditionally great uh, go no nowhere, are kind of drop off the page. I think of Racing de, de Paris, here start the Reims. Uh, Auxerre is a little bit more recent, but it's also dropping off. So uh, it's kind of France does not hold very well with their traditional clubs. They don't hold on that well. But again, I'm very happy to see Stade uh, back and they got a very classic kit by a local manufacturer from France, Hungaria or Ungaria, I don't know how you would uh, pronounce this, uh, which of course uh, reminds of Hungary. But I really like the way this uh, kit looks. It's almost a classic Arsenal. It is the classic Arsenal look. And this was also for Stade de Rhin. Uh, the case um, that the crest is center is maybe not totally to my liking, but there's a lot of other things to like about this one. Um, especially that the white v-neck with a fold over uh, color is, has the French flag on there. Um, same thing is mirrored on the sleeves. Um, I'm not so fond that the back seemingly is on the upper part all white this kind of creates a weird look uh wish that that was different but there's also a nice detail on the bottom that basically celebrates the promotion of start who were i think the runaway champions of league two uh in the past season so you see here on the 11th of may 2018 they managed to be promoted so yeah great jersey and i'm really happy to see such a traditional team back and they're of course back also with an away jersey which is plain green with a little golden accents and if you look at the picture here it actually makes a lot of sense it plays off the um, landscape of the champagne so in that sense i can look past it that this is these are not the traditional club colors but what it is this year with green uh away jerseys we had that already from monaco uh, and some other teams where green is just popping from out of nowhere seemingly. But overall I think this looks decent. Uh, yeah, I think Port uh, Portsmouth or Cardiff had a... whatever. Uh, Brighton I think had, the, had, had, had also a green one. But let's go back to uh, Reims. This one it looks interesting. I like the shirt color. I like how the colors blend. I'm not too much sold on this dot pattern that's a little bit going all over. Uh, I think it, this is re representing the fields of the Champagne. So yeah, maybe, yeah, it does, it does do something to me, but it's still not perfect. I would give this a six star and I think I have not rated the home jersey so let's give the home jersey because of the white back otherwise this would be a really really high rating uh the white back drops it down to eight for me okay and now the last team that i'm gonna show you i already rated before this is start the ren uh it's just uh that i didn't have nice pictures here so i want to show you here the home jersey now we get a full view it's with this vertically striping it looks very interesting and I gave it back then a seven uh, stars 
could be maybe a little bit more. It's almost reminiscent of the France 1984 jersey. And then even better, I think, is the away jersey, especially with this uh, pattern on the bottom that I wish the home jersey had. But also the, the red and black trims on the uh, collar and on the sleeves. This is a really, really nice touch. And yeah, the sponsor is maybe too line, but I like that it's a big one. Well, let me know what you thought about these uh, shirts. Um, if you have, whether you agree with my assessment, whether you disagree with me, give me a thumbs up if you liked that video. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this, and I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.